a revision, has been made, to 250.68, C1, in the 2023, National Electrical Code, that states, grounding electrode conductors, and bonding jumpers, shall be permitted, to be connected, at the following locations, and used, to extend, the connection, to an electrode or electrodes. Interior metal water piping, that is, electrically continuous, with a, metal underground water pipe electrode, and is located, not more than, 1.52 meters, or 5 foot, from the point of entrance, to the building, as measured, along the water piping, shall be permitted, to extend, the connection, to an electrode or electrodes. Interior metal water piping, located more than, 1.52 meters, or 5 foot, from the point of entrance, to the building, as measured, along the water piping, shall not be used, as a conductor, to interconnect electrodes, of the grounding electrode system. The exception, states that, in industrial, commercial, and institutional buildings or structures, if conditions of maintenance, and supervision, ensure that, only qualified persons, service the installation, interior metal water piping, located more than, 1.52 meters, or 5 foot, from the point of entrance, to the building, as measured, along the water piping, shall be permitted, as a bonding conductor, to interconnect electrodes, that are part, of the grounding electrode system, or as, a grounding electrode conductor, if the entire length, other than short sections, passing perpendicularly, through walls, floors, or ceilings, of the interior metal water pipe, that is being used, for the conductor, is exposed. The metal structural frame, of a building, shall be permitted, to be used, as a conductor, to interconnect electrodes, that are part, of the grounding electrode system, or as, a grounding electrode conductor. Hold down bolts, securing, the structural steel column, that are connected, to a concrete encased electrode, complying with, 250.52, A3, and located, in the support footing, or foundation, shall be permitted, to connect, the metal structural frame, of a building or structure, to the concrete encased grounding electrode. The hold down bolts, shall be connected, to the concrete encased electrode, by welding, exothermic welding, steel tie wires, or other approved means. A rebar type, concrete encased electrode, installed in accordance with, 250.52, A3, with an, additional rebar section, extended from its location, within the concrete foundation, or footing, to an accessible location, that is, not subject to corrosion, shall be permitted, for connection, of grounding electrode conductors, and bonding jumpers, in accordance, with the following. The additional rebar section, shall be continuous, with the grounding electrode rebar, or shall be connected, to the grounding electrode rebar, and connected together, by steel tie wires, exothermic welding, welding, or other effective means. The rebar extension, shall not be exposed, to contact, with the earth, without corrosion protection. Rebar, shall not be used, as a conductor, to interconnect, the electrodes, of grounding electrode systems. Text is added, to clarify, that the 5 foot distance, applies to the length, of water piping, not the distance, from the building entry, to the connection, on the water piping. To comply, with section 3.2.1 unenforceable terms, of the 2020 NEC style manual, usual, should not be used, in C2, and C3. A revision, has been made, to clarify, that the 5 foot distance, applies to, the length of water piping, not the distance, from the building entry, to the connection, on the water piping. 